What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, this is kind of like a part two of, of a previous video I dropped a couple days ago. In fact, you're going to see it at the end of this video. So play this video to the very end, and you'll see that next video that I'm referring to pop up. It's how I got 85 clients um, in my first 12 months of building my social media agency and how I did it with no Facebook advertising, no Instagram advertising, no YouTube video advertising. I'm barely getting my YouTube channel started now. As you can see, you know, I got a few hundred loyal, diehard, you know, subscribers that are riding to the wheels fall off and I freaking love every one of them. Um, but I was able to get these clients all by direct message, all by simply hitting people in the DM. And so I kind of, in that video, you'll see it at the end of, of this one, watch that one if you haven't already but that one just kind of goes over just my basic strategy on 100 percent keeping it real what i did um obviously there, there's there's more probably to it a little bit if you want to call it that if you want to say okay my personality may have something to do with it my 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 skill obviously must have something to do with it the fact that i'm a closer has something to do with it obviously all those right being in sales for the past 19 years that's a given, right? You practice anything, I don't give a shit what it is, you're gonna get good. So I've just been practicing for freaking years, dude. So I'm getting a little good, right? And so in the DM is where it goes down and I dropped that video, so watch that one. But one of, the, one of, one of my buddies, in fact, let me, go, let me go to him because I wanna shout him out. He asked me, well, he simply commented. He commented on, on that video, let me go to it. And um, he, asked, he asked about a PowerPoint, if I use a PowerPoint. And that's what I forgot to mention in that, in that video. I might have touched on it in that video, but I don't, think, I don't think I actually mentioned it. The fact that, yeah, I use a PowerPoint. So just to kind of recap on that, on that video, again, check it for the, at the end of this one. It's this one right here. Um, but I want to go back to that comment. Okay, so it was this guy right here. Shout out to Linux. Linux, shout out to Linux Royale. Do you have a video about the PowerPoint you use? So I'm gonna show you my PowerPoint. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real and, and I'm gonna keep it super simple. And, um, and, and again, just touching on that video, if you haven't already, go and watch that video. You'll see it at the end of this one. But 100% of these 85 clients in the first 12 months of me building a social media agency came from direct messaging people on Facebook. Now, this exact 100% strategy works on Facebook, Messenger, um, when, you're, when you're on your phone. Obviously, you can message people on your desktop or laptop or any type of you know, computer. Um, but, but when you're messaging a lot, like, like I'm doing, like I'm, I'm building a freaking company. So the same way you guys are out there in call centers, freaking crushing the phone, pounding 700, 800, 900 calls a day, I'm, I'm pretty much doing that on, on, on Facebook and I'm messaging and I'm messaging for my cell phone and I'm freaking bringing value and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm closing people, you know, through the DM, getting them on to appointments and then, and then going through my PowerPoint and asking for that credit card. That's what I do. And, and I'm just able to leverage Facebook. I'm able to leverage LinkedIn. I'm gonna also show you LinkedIn. Um, and, and we're messaging and I'm, that, that's what I've done in my first 12 months. Now, ne I have progressed, I have definitely progressed. Now I have a book that I wrote. It's a digital book, it's an ebook. Um, 40 pages of straight fire of social media uh, marketing and, and Facebook advertising for my specific niche. Um, and so now I'm, I'm deploying Facebook ads for that book. Once they opt in and get the book and purchase the book, then I upsell them to my training course where I teach them everything from A to Z. So that's what I got going on now, 12 months later. But my first 12 months, man, 85 clients came in and, it, and they all came from DMs. So what I do, I don't want to spend too, too much time on this one. It's just kind of a, a, a part two to the previous one. So make sure you stay to the end of the video to catch the, the, the previous one. But 
it comes down to identifying your niche. It comes down to, to knowing exactly what services you're offering. It, it comes down to knowing exactly what that market is lacking. And, and, and people are sick and tired of salespeople. So you can't be that other sales guy. You definitely can't be it through a message, you know, so because your message will get blocked right away. They'll block you right away or, or you'll just sound stupid right away and you won't even get anywhere. You know, you won't get anyone to, to reply to your message. You won't get anyone um, to even care to even open the message. And you for sure won't get people on appointments, which, would, which, which obviously equals, equals zero revenue. So you got to know how to, how, to, how to pitch. You got to know how to send that message. So I've just been able to really put together a few different messages that gets people's attention right away when it comes to bringing value to to what they're doing on social media to build their brand, to build their business, to, 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 to market their companies, you know? So it comes down to doing market research and finding out what the hell that niche lacks and what the hell is everyone else trying to pitch them because what everyone else is pitching them, I don't want to pitch them that. So you have to come up and that's what I've been able to do. So, and I, t and I'm, and, and my clients are always saying, man, David, how come you're not charging more? And I'm like, you know what, to tell you the truth, because I know every single company out there pitching you is pitching you way more. So I happen to just find my niche and, 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 I'm, and I'm running with it. And so that's why you guys, when it comes down to it, sub niches are so, so important. Rather than going after every single entrepreneur, go after a specific kind. Rather than going after every business, go after a specific kind. Rather than going after every restaurant, go after one specific kind. You know what I mean? Like you can, you can sub niche it down and, and find out what people are lacking, find out who you communicate best with. You may be a male that communicates with other males better. You might be a female that communicates with males better than females. So all that, all that matters, man. Like all that matters. You think billion dollar companies just go after everyone no, dude, they don't. Everything is a specific niche. iPhone. Who do, who, do, who do iPhone? Apple. Who do iPhones go after? iPhone goes after the higher end user, the person that has $1,000 to drop on a freaking phone. That's a specific market. You think they're marketing to freaking 11-year-olds 11, 11 or 13-year-olds? Maybe, but, but at the same time, they're not just marketing to them. They're marketing to their parents. So, Everyone has a specific niche and you got to know it, man. You got to know what your niche is. But once you find that niche, request them on Facebook and request them on LinkedIn. Go after nothing but that niche. Cut off every single friend on here, every network that, that is someone random, that, that has no value to what you're doing online or building or, or in life in general. Like if no one's, if this person's not bringing you value, freaking unfriend them, dude disconnect no big deal you don't even know them dude you don't even freaking know them you know so on this friend list on this friend list i'm at four nine seven eight i always keep it at five thousand just today alone i i unfriended 22 people as you can see it's always at five thousand but i'm but I'm, I'm clearing it out every month every month i'm clearing it out but at the same time to tell you the truth every day i'm clearing it out because every day i'm messaging so every day I'm clicking on someone and, and if I've already messaged, mess, messaged them and it didn't, nothing came out of it and nothing will ever come out of it, I'll unfriend them. And, and I'll do it. I don't do it in a disrespectful way. They don't even know. They don't even know I'm, I'm unfriending them. They don't even know me. They don't even care. Do you care who unfriends you? If you don't know them, you don't give a shit at all, right? It's the same thing, dude. So stop taking it personal. These people don't know you and you don't know them either. So, but at the same time, the person that brings value and the person that could really freaking help another business and help another business owner or help another entrepreneur wins obviously right so you got to be you got to be ethical you got to be legit you can't just be trolling and wasting time dude there's opportunity like crazy right now man and i'm just showing you how i did it in the first 12 months of me building my social media agency um so this right here you guys this right here Facebook personal page, your LinkedIn, just start requesting a lot of people. And then what I do is I tell them, I say, hey, no phone call needed. 
send me your email, message me your email, and give me your absolute best time tomorrow. I'll add us to the calendar and email you confirmation. I ask them for their email, I add them onto Google, I send them an invite. I get their email, I, I put it in, I send them an invite. I send them an invite. So it's like this one right here, for example, Facebook business page. So I sent this, let me move this. I sent this client, Mary, ended up bringing Mary aboard. Shout out to Mary, crushing it. There's Mary. But brought her aboard, this was in August, um, and this is, how, this is how it is. So this is what I write in the actual email, and I simply just ask for their email, put it in, send them an invite, and that's it, man. And that's it. And then I get them on. I, so here's what I'm doing. I'm emailing them the link and then I'm getting them on zoom. And then that's when I'm going over my PowerPoint. So this is my PowerPoint. But at the same time, you guys, I I'm jumping on the call. So again, watch this video that you're going to see at the end here, because I, I, I jump on the call and the way I'm pitching them is more of a consultation. It's more of a, you're coming to the doctor. Let me see where it hurts. You know, so I'm going to ask the questions and you're going to talk. And so it's more of a consultation. It's not a pitch. Remember, these are people that are connected with you on your Facebook. They're people that are connected with you on LinkedIn. So you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to seem like that salesman, dude, right away. No one likes a freaking salesman, especially a rookie ass salesman. No one likes that, dude. So you got to come off different, but at the same time, you got to be gangster with it. You got to be freaking a closer. You got to know how to stick and move. You got to know when to jab, 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 hook. You got to know. So um, that all plays a part in, in it, man, in, in getting people on the phone. So here's the deal. You got people that are going door to door, business to business, trying to get social media clients. You got, you got people that are running Facebook ads. That's where I'm headed now. So you guys, I'm not a pro at, at this yet at all. We're, we're, we're scaling right now. We're going to keep going higher, but I, I am cracking the code and I am continually learning. I am freaking educating myself every single day, dude, whether that's watching YouTube videos like this one from mentors of mine, or whether that's freaking investing in courses, um, which all you guys need to be doing. So shit, um, digital course blueprint that's coming out in a couple months, but that's going to be something that that's going to blow your mind. Um, so link is in the description for that. Get on the VIP list. But all I'm doing now is I'm scaling. But, but at the same time, this right here, you got people that are going door to door. You got people that are running Facebook ads. And then you got people that are simply str struggling. And then you got people that are probably doing it like me, DMing, DMing, finding their niche and DMing them on, on, on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, even Twitter. You can message them on Twitter or hit them up on Twitter. Um, DM, hit them in the DM, but, 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 but again, know the value you're bringing, know the niche and, and, and know your different services that you could provide. So this is kind of just a PowerPoint, you guys, that I go with them. This is the intro. I let them know what I've been doing, you know, internet marketing and advertising since 1999, you know, 2010 social media marketing and consulting, spent time in the mortgage industry, started, you know, crushed it in mortgages. Um, so but I'm not doing this, you guys. That's why when I, just like what I'm showing you guys, it, it automatically sounds like a pitch, but, but I'm not like, as I'm, sh I'm briefly showing this, I'm not spending a bunch of time and freaking boring them to death and reading all this shit and freaking blah, blah, blah. Look how great I am. No, dude, you don't want to do that either. Because again, nowadays, dude, people are not stupid. They can smell a salesman a mile away. Um, they don't like to be pitched. People don't like to be closed but we love to buy. We love to buy. We love to buy. So when you come off genuine, when you come off and you're jab, 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 and then you hook them. That's when you earn their business. And what I mean by jab, 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 I mean, I'm quoting Gary Vaynerchuk, give, give, give. When you give, 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 and then ask for the sell, it's just much easier it's much more professional and, it, and it's modern. It's more modern and people appreciate that. So I take them through this without boring, boring them to death. And then I just tell them the basics of social media. You know, social is all you need. So I just got a, a, a few different graphs, like a bunch of different graphs of the top six platforms, YouTube, 
you know, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram. So I'm just taking them and showing them the importance and the importance of having these accounts listed on their Facebook page, which none of them do. None of them do. So again, as I mentioned earlier, some clients say, David, you should be charging way more. And, and a lot of times I just say, you know what? I found my niche. I found my basic niche on what I can get a dollar bill from and, 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 and a simple niche where I don't have to overwhelm anybody or nothing's complicated or I don't have to pitch this expensive marketing plan, you know, and, and this complicated lead capture funnel and all of this stuff that could be super overwhelming. That will come. But right now, you got to get your feet wet. And right now, you can offer basic ass services to businesses and they will pay you for it, dude. Bottom line. Bottom line. So I just walk them through, you know, obviously the importance of having an active YouTube, an active Twitter, depending on the type of business they are, right? I mean, depending on the type of business um, they are, but at the same time, all these platforms are, are pretty much the most important for every business. And it's really just six of them. So I tell them, I say, hey, how's your, how's your Twitter? How's your YouTube? How's your LinkedIn? How's your Pinterest? And, and then I'll go to their Facebook page and, and it'll be blank. Nothing's there. Their business page isn't showing. Their, um, their, their, pin, their, their LinkedIn, their Instagram, their Twitter link is not showing. So aside from Facebook, no one even knows where else they can find them. Their business page isn't showing, so no one on their personal Facebook page even knows they have a business page, you know, let alone know that they're even in business. So it's like you want to, you want to just explain the basics, but at the same time, the most important parts of all of this stuff, dude. So it's super, super important that they have their, their social media game up. And I tell them, I say, hey, dude, here's the, here's the bottom line. Here's the top six, but you only need to stay active on three. To build a six and seven figure multi million dollar brand, if a person or a business were to stay active on three of them, at least three of them, you gotta have them all set up. You gotta have them all listed. They all have to be branded under your one name. So, for example, let me show you. Let me show you. Um, what I'm referring to. So, look, look at this, for example. Here's my business page, here's my links. I have them all listed and every single one of them is identical. They're matching. So as I'm going through my PowerPoint, I'm just kind of explaining little basics like that, that they're missing, that they have no clue. They don't even realize it. They're like, holy shit. Yeah, you're right. None of them are listed. And, and, and the ones that are, every name is mixed matched and no one knows where I'm at. So I found my little niche, you guys, in just offering the basics to people, setting this stuff up, getting it up, managing it, and, and, and where my real bread and butter comes from is running Facebook ads. So I have clients that will come back to me over and over and over to run new ads. So again, you got to know your market. You got to know if there's, if, there's, if there's future income. If you're, if you're getting them on a retainer, a monthly retainer, that's good, but if you're not, is there a possibility and an opportunity for repeat business? That's what happened. That's what, what I realized in my, in, in, my, in my niche where there's repeat business. My clients always come back to me to run more Facebook ads, bottom line. And so, um, and so, that, and, and so I'm just kind of going over a PowerPoint, man. I'm just going over a PowerPoint and explaining all this stuff, but I'm, but I'm doing it again in a consultant way. I'm not going necessarily like super slide by slide reading every single word sounding like a freaking robot like i'm not doing that but i am touching on it like i'm your homie like i'm a friend like i'm just a consultant like i'm here to help you like this is what it is and and i'm just coming off as that genuine person that really is bringing value and pitching them like no one else ever is or ever will to tell you the truth man you got to come different. You got to offer something different around the same um, realm, around the same industry, the same online, social media, Facebook ads, like you around the same. If that's what, if, if that's what you're doing, if you're building a social media agency, obviously it's going to hover and revolve around social media, but don't feel you got to be a jack of all trades. Don't feel you have to know it all. There's a niche for everyone. There's a niche for everyone. You can offer the basics at a certain price point. And now, and, and then now 
just just go out there and focus on volume. Focus on how can I get X amount per week. You know, and that's what I've done. So rather than charging, again, this is my first year. I'm, I'm literally going on 13 months now. I spent 12 months building a social media agency, going after one specific niche, bringing value, finding out what that market needs as far as, as far as just Facebook or whatever, like what are their needs and then finding out what they're willing to pay, you know, finding out what they're willing to pay and, and, and what kind of value equals that, that pay, you know, so everyone has different price points and, but at the same time, you can't go around charging stupid rates. Obviously no one's going to pay and you're, and, and, and you're going to just have to focus on, 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 on not finding clients as often. The reason why I DM, here's one reason why I got comfortable and, and, and I got, I got good because I don't got to go nowhere, dude. Like I'm not knocking on doors. I'm not now, now here's the thing. I am going to start testing that out because a lot of people are having success. So I'm going to go out in my local neighborhood and go knock on some doors. I'm not going to do it every day, but I am going to, going to delegate one day per week where I literally go out there, hand out my business cards. Um, Vista prints, Vista prints, go get yourself some basic business cards, man. Some basic business cards. Here's my card right here. I'm literally going to go hand out. Bam. Little logo right there. The back of the card just kind of gives you a list of what I'm doing. The back, photography. I put down photography as if I'm a freaking photographer, which I'm freaking obviously not. But shit, with our phones today, you guys, you guys are freaking photographers. Hell yeah, I'm a photographer. You want to pay me for it? I'll, do, I'll go take some pictures of your freaking burgers or your beer or your freaking whatever the hell, dry cleaners, whatever the hell you're selling, local business owner. I'll go take some pictures of it and make that thing come out really nice, right? Our phones are freaking amazing, you guys. So I put that down. You know, video content marketing, email marketing and automation, sales funnels and landing pages. Complete social media management, specializing in Facebook, specializing in Facebook and Instagram advertising. I am going to dedicate a day, a um, couple hours, probably Friday, be doing it on Fridays, go out there for three, four hours and go knock it out, go introduce myself to my freaking local business owner down the street and go freaking get his business, dude, and go bring value, right? And, and charge these people a little bit more. But one, one thing that I got used to and got got good at and and kind of and, and kind of leveraged for what it was worth was the dm dude was the dm getting them on this on this on, on an appointment asking for their email getting them on an appointment and then taking them through a basic powerpoint and bringing them value and then and then showing them diff, showing them three price points and that's it three packages of, of what of what you want to do so again it just depends on on what you're doing man it just it really does because what I'm shooting for is I shoot for, I shoot for three appointments a day. Okay. This is what I, what I, what I, what I normally get nine out of 10 times. Um, I, I'm, I'm messaging from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's my messaging. That's what I'm messaging. And if I'm not messaging, I'm on an appointment. Okay. So with, with that appoint, with that message that I messaged yesterday from that message that I messaged yesterday, right. I'm messaging to get people on the phone. I'm messaging people to get people on Zoom, that is. Not on the phone, phone, telephone. I do Zoom. That's what you're seeing here, my PowerPoint. So I'm messaging from 8 to 3 or, or appointments from 8 to 3. Um, and the whole, the whole goal within that 8 to 3 is to at least set a minimum of three appointments the next day. That's it. Three appointments the next day. Now, if you're going hardcore 8 to 8, Shit, a lot of you guys, man, if you're not doing anything else, you definitely should be going eight to eight in the DM and you could be getting 10 appointments a day. But I, I do this because this is one specific strategy. This is one specific business. I'm also building a digital publishing company and that's what I'm focused on from 4 p.m. and on. Um, so subscribe if you haven't already because I got, I got a ton of value that I'm bringing the online entrepreneur. Um, when it comes to digital publishing and selling your knowledge online. So subscribe. The link is in the, in the description for that. Um, digital course blueprint. Get on the VIP list. But three a day, six days a week, Monday through Saturday. Okay. So 
Simple, keeping it that simple, man. Messaging eight to three, this is what I do. I keep it that simple. And the goal is to schedule three appointments the following day. From my three appointments a day, six days a week, that's 18 appointments, okay? From the 18 appointments, my closing rate is always, always 30 to 40%. So I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring up, actually, it's more like 20 to 30%, 20 to 30% because I bring aboard two to four clients. So 20% would be three clients, um, 25, 30% would be four. So I bring aboard about, about two to four new clients a week. And that happens from 18 appointments, three per day, get them on the line. I get them on zoom. I do a screen share. And then I ask for the credit card, you guys. That's what I do, man. That's what I do. And again, this is a personal friend that, that, that I've requested on Facebook or, a spe or that specific niche that I got connected with on LinkedIn. Now, I know you can do it on Instagram. I know you can do it on Twitter, wherever you can DM someone. But again, you got to know where everyone's at. Where's everyone at? Everyone's on Instagram. Everyone's on Facebook. Everyone's on LinkedIn. Everyone's on Twitter. Don't go, you know, actually, well, you know what, to tell you the truth, I, I don't even want to tell you to tell you that because if you can find a niche anywhere, I don't give a shit what platform it's on. If you could find a niche on some random ass platform that we don't even know about yet, but there's freaking a hundred thousand of your ex exact potential clients, shit, go spend time over there, right? But know where everyone's at. Everyone is here. Everyone's on Facebook. Everyone's on LinkedIn, you know, and, and your niche is out there, man. Your niche is out there. Keep it simple. Come across genuine. Don't pitch them some random bullshit like everyone else. Come with something different. And again, there's a, there's a sub niche in everything. You could be someone that wants to offer the highest price. You could, be off, you could be someone that offers the middle price, or you can even be someone that offers the lower price. And someone that's offering a lower price, just make sure it makes sense for your bottom line. And make sure there's a large market. Make sure you can get X amount per day or per week to really to really make it worth it. And and you can you can kill it off of a off of a low ticket item when it comes to servicing clients. You know, especially if it's a one time thing. Okay, for five hundred dollars for a one time thing, I'll do X, Y, and Z. You know, you can you can totally get away with that. You don't always have to charge someone two thousand a month necessarily. Now, again, it just depends on how ambitious and how goal-oriented and, and how freaking hungry you are. Obviously, someone that wants big, big money, they're going to they're gonna go after a higher-paying client right away. But I just happened to do this in my first 12 months, man. And, and, and 85 clients came in as a result of it from this exact, exact strategy. DM, schedule the appointment through Google, get them on Zoom, which is the free account Zoom, if that's free, um, getting them on that, showing them a PowerPoint and then taking that credit card, man, taking that credit card and running it through your Stripe account. For those of you that are taking payments, Stripe is what a lot of people use. You can run them through any type of merchant account, um, and send them an email as confirmation, man. And then just help them freaking crush their social media, bring value, bring value. I always say, man, I'm going to end it right here. I always say, bring value, bring value, bring value and people will pay you for it. So hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Hope I brought value. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to freaking see me on my next video. Hit the little bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys at the top. Over and out. Peace.